Hi, I'm Mark Jennings. I will be teaching the Exploring the New Testament class at Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary. Who is Jesus? Right, that's the question. That's the fundamental question. That's the question that the New Testament answers. And each book contributes to that answer in its own unique way. This is what we will be doing with Exploring the New Testament, is looking at how the Gospels and Acts and the Epistles and Revelation, how it answers the question, who is Jesus? But to do that, we've got to understand the world that it, uh, the New Testament is coming from. We've got to see the social dynamics that are creating the context uh, for which these writers are writing. The, the social world, honor, shame, patron, client, these uh, dynamics of reciprocity, that helps us see why Corinth was the way it was and why Paul is writing how he does. We're going to look at the gospel writers and how the gospel writers are uh, writing this um, account of, of Jesus. They're presenting who he is, but they're following ancient historiographic uh, norms and considerations. They're working within a known system where they make choice about how they want their reader to understand who Jesus is. We're going to look at how the history that seems ancient history to us wasn't ancient history to them. How figures like Alexander the Great... Julius Caesar, the Maccabean revolt, how that was recent history for the people of the New Testament, how it informed how they thought. We're going to look at Second Temple Judaism and what, what uh, Jewish life was like during this time. It wasn't just a monolithic way of understanding, but it was an active and vibrant and, and divergent consideration. We're going to look at the Old Testament and how it functions in the New Testament. It does so much more than just give a prediction about something. The Old Testament provides the tenor, the shape, and the, and the tone, the warp and the woof, if you will, of the New Testament. The New Testament writers use the world and the language of the Old Testament because Jesus himself used the world and the language of the Old Testament to reveal who he is, to answer the question, who is Jesus? We're going to look at Revelation. Revelation was not written with a symbolism and imagery to keep something hidden, but yet to prevent, I mean, to present the great story to be understood. We got to know how that writing works, how apocalyptic writing function. It's going to be a wonderful time together. We're going to have small group work, class discussion. We're going to go, we're going to dig in deep. We're going to look deep into Matthew and deep into Acts. And we're going to look deep into Paul and Romans and Galatians and Philippians, as well as Hebrews and Revelation and, and, and the other books as well. It's not a typical survey course where you just talk about each little book and then move along. We're going to explore the content and the wonderful writings of our sacred text. Because God is speaking in the New Testament and he's answering the question, who is Jesus? I hope you'll be a part of it. I hope you'll come join me for the course of Exploring the New Testament. Uh, for more information about uh, this class, but also other classes uh, that you can take here at Gordon-Conwell, go to gcts.edu slash seminary snippets. Have a blessed day. Peace.